Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Ron Placone and Steph Zamorano, and they're drinking out of the Jimmy Dore Show mugs. Mm. Look at that, mugs and T-shirts. You get all that stuff right below me. There's our, our, go to our store link, get all the stuff. Great way to help support the show. Become a premium member or Patreon, also a great way to help support the show because they're demonetizing the shit out of our videos. <laughs> okay. Hey, guess what? A little bit more about Hillary Clinton. This was from Hillary Clinton's book. You know how she gave those Wall Street speeches and whatever, and she didn't see a problem with them? Well, it turns out she now says they were a mistake. Oh. That's in the book. The now check is cleared. Ah. And I just want you all to know ah. my bad. Shouldn't have done that. Here's what she says in the book. My opponent spun wild tales about what terrible things I must have said behind closed doors and how as president I would be forever in the pocket of the shadowy bankers who had paid my speaking fees. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, because it's true. <laughs> what? She's acting like people are smearing her. You did that. You took the unbelievable speaking fees from Wall Street banks in a time when they were crushing our economy and they were made bigger after the crash. You were doing that. I don't know why people thought I might have said <laughs> terrible things because when asked for my transcripts, I gave them immediately. And they spun wild tales about what terrible things I must have said. Why didn't you release your transcripts of your speeches if they were so banal if nothing was in them? Because in them, what you said was you have two positions. You have a public position and a private position, meaning don't listen to what I say when I'm talking on TV or in my campaign. It really only matters what I say to you right here, the rich guys in the room. That's why she didn't want you to see her speeches. And here she is again, a narcissistic, sociopathic, pathological liar who can't stop lying. It's amazing. Oh, they're going to smear me <laughs> by spreading the truth. Uh, I should have seen that coming. You know why? When you know why you're doing something and you know there's nothing more to it and certainly nothing sinister, why the fuck would a bank want to give you a half a million dollars to talk for an hour? Nobody can stand to listen to you speak. Why would they give you a half a million dollars for an hour speech? There's nothing sinister. They just want, because they liked you? <laughs> Because they, they felt like you needed some some money for for your kid's college tuition. Why do you think they did that? Did she text them and say, the DNC's bankrupt, help? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they gave you half a million dollars for an hour speech, a speech you wouldn't re release the transcripts on? This is all again. She can't help herself. She can't stop. This is the anatomy. That book should be the anatomy of a sociopathic pathological, narcissistic liar. When you know you're doing something and you know there's nothing more to it and certainly nothing sinister, it's easy to assume that others will see it the same way. Are you that dumb? She's not that dumb. She's not naive. She's painting, trying to again paint herself as some victim who got blindsided by a bunch of people who was just spinning wild tales. You're a corrupted motherfucker 100% and we know it. Elizabeth Warren showed us what you did with that bankruptcy bill. Those transcripts of your Wall Street speeches revealed you had a public and private position. Ultimately, it was a mistake. So that's how she that's how she takes responsibility for mistakes. She spends two paragraphs telling you how it wasn't her fault and it wasn't a mistake. Then she takes responsibility and then she goes on to now dismiss her responsibility again. Just because many former government officials have been paid large fees to give speeches, I shouldn't have assumed it would be okay for me to do it. You're running for president. <laughs> You're running for president. <laughs> You're in collusion with the banks. You didn't think this might be a problem and compromise you? She's pretending that she's held to a higher standard than other people. That's what uh -huh. that is. Well, right. it's also, it was a mistake because you, you. guys found something wrong with yes. it. Yes. You found something wrong with it, so it was a mistake for me. You gave me a headache. The check still cleared, but you were wrong. Chris Hayes loves this book, by the way. <laughs> Chris Hayes loves it. Really good book, he said. Really good read. Chris Hayes. 
It's full of shit like this. Oh, all of it. Let's watch our interview with Thomas Frank. He breaks it down. There's four interviews, four videos we did. We talked to him for an hour. You know, uh, when I was in grad school, they taught us this method of speed reading where you just read like the first and last sentence of every paragraph. Maybe that's what Chris Hayes did. Maybe, like, that's maybe what he Chris just Hayes saw did. like it was a mistake. I shouldn't have assumed it would have been okay for me to do it. And he was like, oh, she's taking accountability. What's everyone upset about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He says, she says, especially after the financial crisis of 2008 and 2009, I should have realized it would be bad optics and stayed away from anything having to do with Wall Street. I didn't. And that's on me. After I, you know, gave you all those caveats that explain away my culpability and doing something as stupid as this. It wasn't like she wasn't being warned in real time to not do this. Her own campaign. You saw it. Neera Tannen was like, "Who the, what the F is she doing in the WikiLeaks? Why is she doing this? She knows she's running for president, right? She's taking half a million dollars from bankers. And you know what? When somebody says, that's on me. That's not on you. That seems like, you know, I missed a dinner date with <laughs> yeah. you. I didn't show up to your birthday ah. party. That's on me. Yeah. Uh, you know what else is on you, Hillary? <laughs> you lost to Donald Trump. Ah, that's on you. That's that on is you. true. I would say that's on me if I got like a movie time wrong. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, me. sorry, guys. I thought it said 725. Yeah. That's on me. You didn't want a Bud Light? Ah, oh, that's on <laughs> me. Okay. Again, Hillary Clinton reveals that she is a narcissistic, sociopath, pathological liar. First rate. And she can't help herself. And she ain't stopping. Are you glad you voted for her? Hey, everybody. We have two live Jimmy Dore shows in September. September 25th, we're in San Diego. And September 18th in Burbank, California. Get your tickets right there. There's a link right there.